Hey everybody, it is Exos. I'm here hanging out in my home. Um, this is going to be a little review of my ThinkPad X300. As you can see right here, this is the, uh, ooh, it's all dusty. This is the one that I took a photo of and some people happen to like it. Um, so this is kind of partially the why, the reason why I'm starting to do these videos this way as a, a cross-dresser, as the uh, think trap. Um, I have a lot of these think pads and this one happens to be one of my favorite. I like it because it's nice and thin. Um, also it is cool running and it is pretty pretty sleek model. Um, there are the the uh, lid is is nice and the uh, finish on the lid is also on the palm rest. As you can see right here, it has a touchpad and a uh, track point. Um, this model was inspired by the uh, uh, the uh, ThinkPad Re Reserve Edition, which was basically a X61S model that had a high um, it had a high price tag, I want to say. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I like about it and. Well, I'm going to show you guys the features of it. I can't really show you guys what I like about it. It's just it's hard to explain because it's just a very nice now laptop. Before I start the video, I have a shout out. Um, we have a shout out to technology. And also we have a shout out to uh, that person's Sonic Fast uh, T430. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Okay. So here we have the keyboard. Um, uh, what I like about it is that right here you have the uh, headphones, you have the microphone. I just like it if the um, headphones or microphones are over here in the at the bottom. Um, we have the uh, speakers right here. It's very, very similar to the uh, 600X or 600 series I should say. Um, one thing that's very neat on this is that it has these uh, little indentations right there. Um, so when I'm navigating the page, I do like feeling feeling that when I'm using it. Uh, the the key the keys um, they have a sort some sort of different finish than like the other ThinkPads. Um, I'm not sure if the uh, the uh, X uh, the X1 Carbon has this finish, but it has like a glossy finish similar to the um, to the lid. And of course, I I always talk about how it has you know like the perfect the perfect bezel and the, the palm rest on this machine feels great. Um, when it comes to using the the uh, track point, the one thing I find problematic is that sometimes my my thumb w would uh, would reach right right there. The um, the track point is, or I should say, the touchpad is very sensitive when it comes to when it comes to um, uh, navigating. And um, another thing is that the uh, the buttons right here. Um, you have your your silence, or I should say your mute volume up and down, and you have the Think Vantage button as well. One thing is cool is that you have the indicators on on the uh, on the keyboard. Um, I thought that was pretty neat. And also one thing about uh, the uh, what makes this model different from the from the uh, X three hundreds is that this uh, LCD bezel right here is like a, is like is shiny. As you can see, it says um, S70 on there. Let's see your focus, and the bezel is is shiny. So that's what makes it different from uh, the X300s. Um, this model is is pretty standard. I mean, it has, it has the uh, let's see if you can see it. Uh, it has the uh, Think Light. Oh, you can't. Oh, there we go. It has a Think Light. It has a camera. Um, you know standard hinges. It has the you know, normal fan guard. When I first saw an X three hundred, um, I thought that this thing, the the fan guard on on this machine looks pretty neat. It takes a uh, one point eight uh, inch uh, solid state drive, and also the uh, batteries. I believe I have a six cell right here. That it's on the palm rest instead of a uh, instead of on the back. You have your RAM right there, and then on this model it says uh, "sit only," but when you look when you look up on the uh, what's it the type right there, 
see if, you could, if it zooms in on that. The uh, type on this machine actually um, says X300. And another thing that makes this machine unique is let's look right now. No, it's, it's starting to fade out, but we have the um, the whole model number right there and everything. And this machine, this machine was very, very lightly used. I believe it was just a display model. It wasn't used that that often. Um, also, you have the uh, LED indicators right there. Um, it, it has a, uh, it has a, I want to say, <laughs> I can't even think of it. It has a, uh, a thing, I believe it's 3G capable. It has a, a SIM card on the bottom. And this thing is, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not one of the greatest machines I've ever used. Um, of course, you're not going to be able to see, see the, um, the screen that well. Um, right here. I have a crunch bag installed on this machine and the panel isn't really that great. Let me see if I can turn off the lights on over here. Um, it has it has poor viewing angles. Uh, def definitely not not even close to uh, IPS but one thing I do love about this is that it has a, a WXGA plus screen and it's you know essentially a 900p screen, not just your standard 720 uh, that are plaguing a lot of the ThinkPads. Um, so it's it's a blast to use. Um, but the m main thing I love about this machine, even though that is that it's outdated, is that I I seriously love typing on this machine. It just has a solid feel. On, on it um there there's essentially let me see if I can find no I can't there is there is a no keyboard flex on this machine so it feels really good when it when it comes to typing I want to say that this machine is a successor to the uh, ThinkPad reserve edition um, that was a very special model made by Lenovo to commemorate the, I believe it was the 15th anniversary of the uh, ThinkPad line. So they they were hand selected to uh, be sold to a few few people. Um, so I believe you had to be on a waiting list just to get on it. One of the main things, the reason why I love this ThinkPad is that it's surprisingly durable. Um, this was before Lenovo uh, cheapened out their machines. Um, this thing still has a pretty strong roll cage on here. Um, it's also very light, as you can see. Try not to break the uh, LCD. <laughs> uh, it's often joke who would... Oh, almost hit my head right there. It's often joke who would hold their ThinkPad like that. As you can see, the uh, LCD is in, well, hopefully you can see it, is in good condition. But this machine is very strong. And luckily, um, this kind of build quality stayed with the uh, X1 Carbon. It's argued that, you know, Lenovo had cheapened it out, but I still think, I still think that they're very, still very durable. Um, I really, I really, oh, and also another thing what makes this apart different from the uh, X100 and X200 is that it has a ultra bay right here. Um, my model has a battery on here. The only thing that sucks about this machine is that it, it has a, a, a VGA port and it doesn't have like a display port or anything. So that makes, that kind of sucks. But as you can see right next to me, I have a bunch of my uh, ThinkPads over there. Um, I was tearing down X61 uh, tablet, but I proved myself unsuccessful. So we are gonna just open this little baby up and see what it has. Let's see if we could take out the battery. It wants to come out easily. We just got a standard um, battery. Uh, let's see if we can, oh, I can't say it, but it says uh, Kodachi right there. I'll show you a photo with the, in the link. Um, we have some nice padding right here. We have 
this stuff for the I guess the trackpad. We have a little le little leaky thing right there. We got a leaky thing right there. So when if there's ever water spilled on the machine, um, it it'll just uh, leak out from from there. Uh, let's see if I could just get this thing on here. Um, on my other video, I was using I was using this um, the screwdriver to take apart the X61, but uh, I was having quite a bit of a problem. Here we have the um, it takes a 1.8 um, inch uh, solid state drive. It, it also takes a uh, regular hard drives also. Um, I don't I didn't have a uh, it didn't came with a uh, caddy, so I just had I just had some like some. Uh, Kind of like um, I want to say electrical tape, and just taped it on here so I could just pull it out. Let's get to the uh, RAM door. Alrighty, um, there's one more screw right here. I think that was for the final model. Let's see, we have you know the two the two RAM slots. We have it. We have the Wi-Fi right here, and this I believe would be for your uh, 3G. One thing I have to say though is that I was quite disappointed when I got this model. I thought that the uh, X300 had a uh, DDR3 RAM as well as the X100 and X200. But I come to find out that the X300 was actually released before the uh, X200. This still has a uh, Core 2 uh, Duo second generation like the X61. But the thing is that it has an, an ultra low voltage one. So it's it's very um it's I want to say it's it's very slow I'm not I'm not gonna lie, um, web browsing on this machine, I mean it's not I'm surprised I think I was able to watch uh U YouTube and Netflix when I had Windows on this machine, but other than that it wasn't it wasn't that fun. You have to remove that screw to get to the Ultra Bay. Here we have right here. This is just on a standard uh, X X300. So nothing special about that. Um, there's also uh, I forgot I didn't I don't have the um, the uh, I should say CD drive. See the take out this screw and this should get to the uh, keyboard. Um, let's see maybe. Well, actually, let's just see how, how far we get with just taking out that one screw. Already, without the batteries, this machine feels very light. Let's see. Oh, no, I got to take out more. Take out that connector like that. Oh, it looks like oh, that's what we had. We had a few uh, ribbon cables. Ooh. All right, so those machines have been being a bit stable, unstable. Here we go. We got we got something two thousand seven ten. Looks like we got some sort of signature right there. That's kind of cool. Maybe it was, and then we have the, uh, still see the frame. Very nice. Looks like the, uh, they put a little block right there. This is for, well, I guess that's for the speakers. So let's go ahead and close that. We have the Bluetooth module right there. Um, part of the frame is, well, this, this speaker is, is, a. Uh, Behind the frame right there. Let's see. Oh, ooh, interesting. So this the the bezel right here is actually integrated with the uh the frame and it's and it's painted. Oh man, that's interesting. We have the uh, CMOS battery right here. Very different, very different looking. Oh, looks like I was wrong. We have the um this is the uh, uh, what, what W W one I want to say W one module right there. There's there's the um, 
there's the uh, I want to say the antennas, but I really wonder what this one is. Mol Molex. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it's for turbo memory. And then you have the fan right there. Um. Yeah, and then the C the process is probably right there. So yeah, you have to remove the whole the whole uh, frame to get to that. So yeah, that's that is the uh, S seventy. Open it up for the first time. Pro that's that pro that probably um you could probably switch that from an X sixty one. And oh, another thing is that the um the lid latch is on the bottom. And and uh, uh, I want to say the uh, these things don't actually move; they they uh, they stay intact, which is interesting. A good thing is that because of that, um, you're not you're not put, putting all that force on the uh, on the on the LCD. Um, sometimes though, some of the machines they're they're a bit like squ squished. I want to say because of it. couple of things about that laptop um I forget when I bought it um I'm pretty sure it's gonna say right there but I bought I paid about uh $245 for the machine um it was labeled as a Lenovo uh, Ultra Connect and when I first saw it I was I was wondering what it was because it it wasn't it was it said you know S70 on there and um I really didn't know what it was, so after some researching, uh, it seemed like an X300, and um, the X300 is, you know, revered to be the uh, sexiest ThinkPad, you know, ever, which I kind of tend to agree to. Um, there's, you know, there's a few models I really like snooking. The uh, 600X is very utilitarian. I do like the uh, T23 models because the uh, bezel on there is very nice and small on the uh, keyboard, I should say. Um, but yeah, that machine that machine was very slick looking. It was sold on, in uh, excellent condition. So I started bidding on it and I got kind of in a crazy bidding war with somebody else. And it went uh, past a lot for what normally an X300 would cost. But there's there's a quite a few models that just don't look nice. Um, now that I've gotten the model, I do want to get an X301, which is the uh, third. It has the uh, Core 2 Duo uh, third gen, and it actually has a DDR2. Uh, I'm sorry, DDR3 RAM on there. So that model is a lot better than the uh, I should say X300. But it was actually released like eight months right after it too. It was just really strange. I kind of wish there was an X302 because then it would have had an you know an i core series or an i series. It would have had like a maybe an, an i5 in there, maybe an i7. Ooh, but it would have been an ultra low voltage i7. And the uh, X1, um, the original X1 was a successor for it. It was 13 inches as well, but it had a a thicker footprint on it, and it had an HD only display which was glossy and I heard it wasn't you know they downgraded so that's that's always kind of weird the uh, X the 14 inch uh, X1C had the uh, HD plus display so that you know I would say that I wish it would just came to that I wish you know the first X1 was just that and then, of course, we know the second gen X1 Carbon has that beautiful uh, five row uh, keyboard. Well, you know, it has the function keys that flips or whatever. But, um, okay, anyways, I'm gonna pass. The, as far as what I'm gonna do with that machine, I used to take it a lot, lot on the, on the, I wanna say the road with me. But eventually, I started using it a little bit too much and. I don't want to ruin that machine because um, it's even though it's been sitting for a long time, like it's just it's very pretty, and I just don't want to ruin it. It might it might become a collector's piece. Arguably, all the ThinkPads I get are collectors, quote unquote. But 
that one is you know it's it's the uh, pre-production model of the ThinkPad so you have that one then you have the uh, one ThinkPad the T61 that 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 was like all clear I want to say it had, it had like a clear it had a clear uh, keyboard and a clear no not clear it had a clear palm rest and a, and a clear uh, keyboard speaker bezel <laughs> oh. so that model looks very cool too that's one to get as well as long as as well as the uh, NASA models I would say those are like the main oh and I forgot of course the reserve edition ThinkPad that model is very special and that has a that has the uh, you know like a nice leather laptop uh, skin that goes up, up above the um the actual laptop so yeah that's that was made in I think in Italy or something like that it was a very special model and yeah so i hope you guys like this video if you want to rate comment and maybe subscribe if you have yet to um I'll, this is my first review so if it's bad i'm probably gonna be missing like a lot of things on here but i'm gonna get you know work on them all and stuff so i hope you guys like them